Welcome to Doris Visits and this is another one of our passenger area tours. This week is a big adventure. We're on a big ship, the Iona, and a big ship means a big cabaret act. And we've got Gary Barlow. So my band have played everywhere, they've played all around the world and everybody came on last night saying what a great audience we had. So thank you for all coming to see us. And thank you to everyone for the nation that we were The ship was built in before. Germany finished in 2020 and released after the lockdown. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Deck 3, the medical centre. Hope you never have to use it, but best to know where it is. This is a Deck 4 standard cabin. It has 13 amp electric sockets. There's a plug by the bed, but there are no USB sockets. So don't forget to bring your adapters. The gym is on Deck 5. It's very well equipped and they have classes. The gym has a full thermal spa. Deck 6 has a multitude of different amenities available. This is a scene area for teens. Here the young passengers can come and hang out with all their new friends. It's in the entrance tunnel to the theatre. The theatre headlines has its front stalls entrance on Deck 6. We saw some amazing acts, and it has a very large seating capacity of 900. The gallery and spa are also on this deck. As you walk towards the Limelight Club through the white wall galleries, you may be tempted to buy a piece of art to take home. The Limelight Club, which is bookable on your My Holiday app, is where you can go for a whole evening of dinner and cabaret. Then at 10.30 there's often karaoke or a band on stage and you don't have to book for those. In the daytime it's used for classes. This one is Fit Steps, a dance based fitness workout derived by some of the dancers from Strictly. It's great fun and a really good way to work off all those extra calories. Deck 6 is also the home of the beautiful atrium at the centre of the ship. Here, it's dressed for Christmas, and there is often entertainment like the jugglers and acrobats or close-up magic. If you need help with your app, like what we do, you have to come down to Deck 6. To use the app, you have to go into My Holiday, or you can scan the QR code, name, date of birth, cabin number, and you press log in and when you log in you will see your cabin number comes up and you have dining shore experiences onboard account my bookings my diary medical assistance spa entertainment drinks my cabin services you just press on what you want so say you want to book a restaurant dining and then you see the restaurants there and as you see you can join the queue don't be frightened of the app or the silent disco, although maybe the silent disco is a bit more frightening. So the place to get your crossword is on deck six by the coffee station, crossword and newspaper. All around the ship there are these wonderful pianos that play themselves. I wonder if in the future They'll have holograms above them and it could be Elton John or Stevie Wonder. It's a formal night tonight and everyone is looking stunning. And we're just about to go and see Helen as Adele in the dome. Deck 6 is also the home of the 710 Club. Book early to avoid disappointment. Thank you very much guys, welcome to the 710 Club and welcome to our 90s evening and uh, yeah we really do enjoy 90s evening because there's so many great great tunes uh, from that decade. Just along from the club is Anderson's, great for a pre-dinner drink as it's situated close to the restaurants. Also the library is a great place to sit and read a book or do the crossword in the daytime, perhaps with a little liquid refreshment.
We're just going into Ocean Studios to see Jurassic Park. And on the way into the cinema, if you're thirsty, you can use the vending machines to buy a can of beer. Blue. Available. Oh, there's only two seats available. The cinema is very comfy and caters for all age groups. It's quite popular on sea day, so make sure you book in advance. Also on deck six are the restaurants with free dining throughout. Once you get the hang of booking on your app, it's easy to get in a virtual queue and just go to the restaurant when your table is ready. There is the Aqua, Opal, Pearl and Coral. They all look very similar inside and have the same menu to choose from, so just pick the one with the shortest queue. It's often quicker to get a table if you're prepared to share with other people and that's a great way to make new friends. We talk about the Iona a lot in our podcast blog, Big Ships, Little Ships, where we set chatting at the Time Out Market in Lisbon. You can listen to it on Doris Visits in the podcast section. Deck 7 has the Coral Restaurant. The loyalty and cruise sales are also on Deck 7. If you can't bear the thought of leaving a ship without knowing you'll be back, this is the place to book your future cruise. If you want to buy one of our Love to Cruise t-shirts though, you'll have to go to our online shopping on Doris Visits with a link to T-Mill who have access to the Love to Cruise logo. There's more than just a few shops here. There's a whole shopping mall. On different days they have sales on different things, so it's worth asking if you've got your eye on something. Deck 7 is also home to the Glass House, where Ollie Smith has paired the wine to complement Jose Pissarro's delicious tapas. You don't have to book the Glass House, you just have to join the virtual queue on your app. The Glass House, one of our favourite restaurants. Yes, it definitely is my top pick on this ship. Just past the glass house in the atrium, you'll find the reception, which is on the way to the photo hub. More shops on deck seven and also the upper level of the headliners theatre. Which she likened to the River Jordan. She appeared at Wilkinson's York Circuit Theatres where she complained of uncomfortable work. Right next to the Headliners Theatre on one side of the ship is the casino and on the other side is Brodie's. Brodie's has entertainment in the evening and was very popular during our cruise as the World Cup was on and everyone was very excited that England got off to such a good start. Pity about poor old whales. Some of the staff also like to join in the entertainment. The casino also gets very busy both during the day and in the evening with many different kinds of gambling if that's your thing.
So the two floors we can see with the glass covering them, they're the restaurant floors. And then above that is deck eight, which is the club floor. And the back of deck eight is the sunset bar. If you're feeling lost, there are maps everywhere to help you orientate yourself. So this is the clubhouse. The clubhouse is very popular and often an act will appear in the theatre for one show and then the clubhouse for their second show. They both have completely different atmospheres. We also watch the football here during the day and the bingo is very popular and they also have quizzes. The Olive Grove is on Deck 8 and you have to book in advance through your My Holiday app. Some of the dishes incur an extra charge and it's also available for lunch. Deck 8 is also home to the Keys restaurant which is popular for its burgers and also noodles from the Fusion restaurant. Fish and chips. Fish, chips and mushy peas in the hook, line and vinegar. I had it yesterday, I've got it today and I'll have it tomorrow. I can really recommend it. Puts are also available and of course teas and coffees. The Sindhu is a premium restaurant. Prices are per item and you do need to book. And just remember, if you like it spicy, tell them and they'll accommodate you. The menu at the Sindhu here is very different from on the other P&O ships. It's beautifully decorated and has a very calm atmosphere. The ice cream parlour, Ripples, is a big hit with the very young and very old alike. Lots of flavours to choose from and reasonably priced. The Keel and Cow is another speciality restaurant where you will need to join a virtual queue on your My Holiday app. Although you may find it overwhelming at first as the ship is so big, we quickly found our way around it and felt at home. They've thought of everything. There are even places where you can fill up your water bottles all over the ship. The toilet doors are on sensors. You don't have to use the handle. All you have to do is to put your hand there and it will open. In the Sky Dome, you can get a delicious pizza with chips and salad during the day. and at night it's a wonderful entertainment venue. In the evening, the Sky Dome turns into a cabaret venue and we're waiting for the Adele tribute. Very excited. We also watched a very different aerial act in here and the setting was magical and ideal. There is some entertainment for every taste.
At night, a section of the Horizon restaurant turns into the beach house. So you pay a cover of £7.50 a person and some items a little bit extra, but you can normally get in here. This is a late sitting because we've just seen Gary Barlow. So Stuart has opted for the chili sin carne, which is the vegetarian option. And I've opted for the fajitas with halloumi. So Stuart's opted for the banana split and I have opted for the pineapple soaked in rum. And I think I win. The Horizon restaurant is the buffet area where breakfast, lunch and dinner are served. Again, very varied, catering for all tastes. The horizon's being set for the chef's table this evening. So tonight, the horizon restaurant has been turned into the chef's table and Ollie Smith has paired the wines with Marco Pierre White's menu and I've got lobster, which looks delicious. I think I'm gonna have to put my Christmas decorations up when I get home, because I'll miss them. If you don't have time to sit down and eat, you can grab something from the grab and go. The swimming pools are open from 7am to 8pm, except the Sky Dome, which closes at 4. The World Pools are open 8am to 8pm. The sail away today is Max Too Good Ballsby, probably the hardest working entertainer on the ship. He is everywhere. Today he's on deck 17. The infinity pool is an interesting experience. You feel as though you're going to swim off the ship into the sea. Would you go 64 Fahrenheit? The world is continuing to raise to 23 degrees Celsius. It goes 73 Fahrenheit. We're expecting a good dry weather, uh, bright and uh, sunny skies and uh, just a scattered clouds around. And finally, a reminder that we will sail uh, this evening or uh, this afternoon for Tenerife. You'll find the Epicurean on deck 17 which you can book on your app. The afternoon teas are delicious. The crow's nest is right next door to the Epicurean and is very popular for a pre-dinner drink. We're in the crow's nest. You can find on big ships like this that the ends get less crowded than the middle. Top tip. There's plenty of entertainment for the kids all throughout the ship. The reef is located on deck 17 with its table tennis and play areas. Cruising is ideal for families. Mum and dad can take a break while the kids are well cared for in the nurseries. There are all the usual deck games available on deck 17. All in all, it will be hard for anyone of any age not to enjoy this ship. We talk about the Iona a lot in our podcast blog big ships, little ships, where we set chatting at the Time Out Market in Lisbon. 
You can listen to it on Doris Visits in the podcast section. Deck 18 houses the retreat. The splash zone for the kids and the squash boards for the more energetic. and there's always a jogging track to be honest with 19 decks you get enough exercise if you opt to take the stairs and not the lift take your time when judging this ship i was apprehensive about going on a ship this big but after a couple of days i couldn't have enjoyed it more. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the cruise. Thank you. We'll see you next time.